Hey, so I hope y'all are having a good adjustment to how things are going. Um, I hope y'all are staying home and staying healthy. Um, so let's just get into this. I feel like I'm like a YouTuber or something. This is weird. <laughs> um, but I have my notes in front of me just to kind of reference um, some things. But um, I read The Three Little Pigs. No, The Three Little Aliens <laughs> and The Big Bad Robot. Um, by Margaret McNamara and Mark Fearing. I think that's how they say their names. Um, so the three little aliens had to like find um, a new place to live. They couldn't fit in their mom's house anymore. Um, and so they went to other planets to find um, different places to live. And the, despite their mother's... Um, suggestion or advice um, to stay together they decided to split up and the two for the first two aliens um, Bork and Gork <laughs> um, they decided to just pick wherever seemed fun for them and then the last one was like no I think we need to pick something that's better that'll keep us away from the big bad robot um, and so he found his own place and he built this nice house out of space rock and a telescope as a chimney and all this stuff. And um, then, and his name is like something crazy, it's spelled N-K-L-X-W-C-Y-Z. So I'm not even going to try and say that. Um, <laughs> but his house was strong and um, he was pretty smart when it came to building his house. Um, so then when the, when they were finally settling and everything, they, um, the big bad robot kind of came in and, um, was chasing them away and trying to eat them or whatever he was trying to do. Um, <laughs> and so Bork and Gork were out of a home. So they ran to the other one, the one with the strong house and they hid inside his house and he tried to whack it and crack it and whatever um to break it down so that he could eat the aliens or kill the aliens um but he was unsuccessful and so then he tried to get into the telescope which was the chimney and he got so stuck that like he let out this big cry and then he just burst into a million pieces and the aliens were um, safe and sound and so then they called their mom and their mom tucked them in bed and everything was fine again in the world or in this in space <laughs> um, and so my personal like opinion on the book was um, I liked it I've always liked the three little pigs um, stories and I thought it was funny um, that they kind of like did a spin on it with aliens and then um, I think that it's a quality folklore book because it's um, it kind of like hit all of the folklore points. It had it went quick into the um, into the story, into the conflict, and then um, they had their happily ever after. Um, and it also introduced planets and the solar system to kids. So I thought that was good too for like an extra. It kind of like furthered learning they weren't just reading they were learning about the planets as well um and so for the second book that i read um it's really hard to find these books by the way because <laughs> sometimes the libraries like don't have them online or um they're checked out or something but i read the rough face girl which i'd read in school before um so i kind of like knew what it was but i didn't like it's been a long time since i've read it and it's a variant of Cinderella, which there are tons of variants of Cinderella. <laughs> um, so there was this invisible being that was looking for a wife. And um, only certain people could see him. And so he said, the only person that I'll marry will be able to see me. And so um, the girls in this story, um, like there were three sisters and they were poor. Um, and the two sisters were mean and ugly towards the younger sister and made her feed the fire and because of that the ashes would fall on her and scar her skin and burn her hair um, and so because of that she was ugly and they called her the rough face girl um, 
And so when they found out that he was looking for a wife, the two oldest girls got all the pretty dresses and like the, um, what was it called, buckskin um, dresses and shells and moccasins. It's an Indian version of um, Cinderella in like Canada. Um, and um, let's see. And so they went to go to see him. But the sister was there and was like, hey, have you seen him? What's this? What does his weapon look like? What does this look like? And they couldn't answer the questions correctly because they couldn't see him. Um, and so she kicked him out and they couldn't marry him. Um, and so the rough, the rough face girl scrounged up, as, scrounged up as much as she could to help herself look more presentable for this man because she said that she was going to marry him. And so she went and she went to the sister and um, as the sister was asking her these questions of what he looked like, she was answering him correctly. And so she was like, oh, you've seen my, si you've seen my brother. Um, so she took him to, um, to her brother and she had noticed whenever she first saw her was that despite how she looked, despite the broken shells that she was wearing, the big moccasins she was wearing, her scarred face, her burnt hair, um, she knew that she had a kind heart because she looked into her eyes. Um, and so she didn't base it off of what she looked like, she based it off of her heart. Um, and so she met the man and she saw him and he told her to um, take a bath in the lake and when she came out, she was beautiful. She had no scars. Her hair was rejuvenated. And um, she was gorgeous. Just as gorgeous as she was on the inside. And then they finally got married. And so, again, I liked this book as well. And I think that it was quality because it um, it went towards the... Or it, like, hit all the folklore marks. Um, and had the happy ending and the conflict and all that. Um, and... It also taught something other than just like reading or whatnot. Um, it taught that girls are just as pretty as they on the outside as they are on the inside. It doesn't matter what they look like on the outside. It's the inside beauty that counts. Um, and so, yeah, that's what I did. Thank you.